<laughs> oh Lord, look like my computer is trying to be on slow mo. I don't know what is doing. Um, God is love. Welcome. You guys come on in. <clears throat> I am um, great. <laughs> great, 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 great. Voice is a little raspy, but, you know, something going around on my job. And I'm like, look now. I just got over some mess. I'll need it again. So, but anyway, Israel, welcome you guys. Come on in. Uh, powerful things to talk about. Very, very much so. So, I didn't quite know what I was going to title this video. Um, but, here I am. Uh, all right, we got... Seven likes and seven people on. I love it. All right. So you guys come on in. Come on in. Lord. Um, and <laughs> oh my. Oh, Jesus. Yes. So as you guys come on in, go ahead, hit the like button. And share, okay? Cinder Morales, welcome, Justine. Y'all come on in here. Pour in, pour in. That's what I'm talking about. Um, yeah, so let me... Uh, I come on here a little early because I have something. Miss Gloria, you caught me. You caught me on live. That's awesome. <coughs> I know that um, I told you guys like a video or two or so ago that um, I would be sharing with you some psalms that the Lord revealed to me uh, that you can pray to deal with and handle certain types of situations, life situations, warfare, dream situations, attacks, anything, any and all thing is what the Lord has revealed to me that we go through is in Psalms. I'm, I'm telling y'all, this is absolutely amazing. Um, um, <clears throat> some of the things I'm going to share, some of the things I just think that, um, yeah, I may not share. Um, yeah, some things I may not. I may have to put it in another video for video time's sake. Um, <laughs> California, yay. God is love. Israel is Sydney Morales. Okay. Alexis, so all 16 of you, you guys, welcome to the channel. This is Jesus wants you. I am the watchman on the wall, Nikki Hall. You know you cannot come to this channel without your Bible. Please get your Bibles. You will need it today. You will need it. Um, T. Skaggs in the house. Come on now, y'all. <clears throat> we have our very own nurse practitioner in the house. We ain't going to put her to work tonight. She worked hard, y'all. <laughs> We ain't gonna put it to work tonight. But um listen. Okay, y'all hear me and hear me good. Now all of us live on different parts of the earth, right? Those of you who are seeing prophetic, uh <laughs> those of you who are seeing prophetic numbers, I guarantee you that you are seeing this. 444, 9-11, your birthday, 7-11, 3-33, 11-11, and 
and uh, possibly 222 and 555-747 7, is on steroids. I guarantee you, you, you seeing that. In those patterns and series, right there. I mean, it, this is absolutely amazing. I was intended to text Cindy Morales and ask her. I'm like, all of a sudden, I am seeing my birthday like crazy. But our very own nurse practitioner texted me this morning and she grouped every single number that I'm seeing along with her own birthday. And I'm like, wow, what is, <clears throat> you don't see numbers, Israel? Okay. Well, basically, in a nutshell, a lot of us who are seeing these numbers are chosen, chosen people. And how you know, you look around on YouTube, y'all seeing all kinds of videos about the chosen ones. The chosen, the chosen, the chosen ones. They even got, you know, I told you whatever is going on in the spiritual were manifesting the natural. They even got a movie co out called The Chosen or series or whatever it is. Bonita, Jessica, welcome. Hi. So, yeah, seeing the birthdays and all that. So before I even get started, I want to first, um, <clears throat> some may say, no, you don't have to apologize, but... <clears throat> Uh, total woman experience welcome um want to let you guys know why i had to cancel um last week's prayer night uh, many of you know that i just did worldwide vision day i'm a big advocate for winning souls i love it that's that's just my passion that's my thing okay um but I did a video two or three weeks ago, maybe two weeks ago, about the Lord said, arise for your light has come. Michelle Cooper, welcome. Arise for your light has come. And that the light, because of all the darkness that's going on in the world, the Lord was going to uh, have our light to shine. Well, lo and behold, <laughs> I didn't know to what extent or magnitude, but... From coming on here doing videos, working a full-time job, been a mom, um, and preaching in the streets. And then not only preaching in the streets, and many of you may be going through this, preaching at work, uh, ministering to when your light is shining, is shining into dark areas, is shining into the Lord said um, <clears throat> that he will cause those that walk in darkness. Uh, no man can come to the Father except he be drawn, right? So all of a sudden, I've been given this influx of flow, inflow of people, hello, Mo, reaching out to me, coming to me, asking me questions about the last days. Um, they wanted to know about you know, this recent eclipse we had, um, <clears throat> salvation, just all kinds of uh, uh, questions regarding the Bible, uh, family members calling with situations, people that I hadn't heard from in a while. Um, people are looking for answers, you guys. Um, knowledge running to and fro. That's in the book of Daniel, okay? Okay. But when you ministering and doing all this and you pouring out here and you pouring out there, we as ministers, we need poured into too, okay? And at that time, I felt myself really, really, I felt depleted. You know, like, I'm like, oh God, I cannot, I, I have to, I do not want to make the mistake I made in 2019, pushing, pushing, working like a Hebrew slave, pushing and pushing, still coming on, you know, uh, bringing, we have to find balance and I don't want to make that mistake. And I tend to find balance. So if I need to be fed, <laughs> then I'm going to get fed. All right. So, um, is nothing like I'm just running off and I'm, I'm not doing anything. No. Okay. I had to be fed. Oh, well, awesome. 
So yes, the new Madrid, there's earthquakes. I mean, I've been pouring out and ministering to all kinds of people. Um, so yeah. Now with that said, let me say a short prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you, Lord, for all those that are gathered here in your name. Father, Lord, we bind up every spirit of interference, every spirit of monitoring familiar spirits. Lord, we loose the blood of Jesus in our atmosphere to subdue and overturn every wicked powers, Lord God, that would try to come against us, that would try to hinder, Lord God, what you would pour out into your people this night. Father, I pray that the seeds that will be sown, Lord God, will be cultivated and bring fruitfulness in due time in season as we boldly declare that Satan is defeated and we are redeemed in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. All right. <clears throat> Tina, welcome. Suzette Carruthers, uh, welcome you guys. So with that said, you guys turn to the book of Luke, chapter 24, verse 44. Luke, verse chapter 24, verse 44, all right? And then we're going to go back to Psalms. Y'all, we're going to be in Psalms for a while. I'm going to tell you that right now. You might as well get ready. It's so much revelation, okay? So um, a couple of videos ago, Lisa Panda, uh, welcome. I told you guys, and basically in a prophecy of December 31st, that the Lord was sending us help. He was sending angelic assistance. He's also uh, was going to give us new spiritual revelations concerning warfare. I almost fell over in my chair when I heard a man of God release two powerful weapons that the Lord has uh, re is revealing to his people to use in this hour and time. And why that is, it is because new levels, new devils. We're at a time now that we can't be, uh, and uh, I hope, you know, to all my Catholic people, you know, they like to do these Hail Mary prayers and, you know, you printing off something online and, you know what I'm saying? The tap dancing uh, prayers just ain't going to work. It ain't going to penetrate no darkness. I'm, I'm going to tell you right now. Also, um, for anybody that's dealing with any form of offense, this is not the time to get offended. It just ain't. I got a video all by itself to do on that. Um, because you're going to miss out on something so powerful. I am saddened that on prayer night, out of almost 9,000 people, only about a number of 30 people show up. And this world is getting ready to take a hard turn. And many will not be ready. The reason why you guys are seeing a lot of these numbers, um, especially like 747, this is for increase. The Lord is increasing his people to come up higher, to come up higher, okay? Um, and there's a lot of warfare that is going against that. Now, I have um, Cindy Morales online. Uh, she shared with me earlier about two dreams that she had. I told you guys last video that I want you to stick here, stick with me. Because if you're not dreaming, you need to be dreaming. Because the Bible said, where there's no vision, the people perish. Hello. Where there's no vision, the people perish. Okay. All right. So that not all times can be any can be physical. All right. But you have to. In this hour, be dreaming. Because the Lord is revealing some stuff. Secrets. Okay? You see in that 222? Daniel 222 says he revealed the deep and secret things that lieth in the darkness and the light dwelleth with him. Reveal it. Reveal it. You see in 333? Jeremiah 333. Yes, I'm saying 555 too. 
and we're going to go there too. Okay. 333, call unto my name and I will show you great and mighty things that you know not. Show, reveal. Okay. That 555, the Lord led me back to a video that I thought I did in 2014 or 15. And I actually did it in 2017. Okay. That was prophetic. Seven years later, 2024, in that video of 555, I was, the Lord gave me the revelation of 555 and 55 because so many of us was, was seeing it like crazy. It was driving me nuts. I'm like, whoa, whoa, Lord, what? Why am I seeing this? And he gave me the revelation. And in that video in 2017, I was talking about songs the book of Psalms, how Psalms was prayers and that we needed to be praying them. And um, <clears throat> that uh, he he wanted us to read them, pray them. I was saying that even at that time, even at that time. And I'm, and I'm going to reveal some something to you guys. That the Lord is just shedding light on. Suzette Carruthers, prime example. You say in 121. Y'all, that ain't no number that you can associate much with. 121. I'm telling you with all, with great humbleness and mighty conviction all day long. The Lord is showing and revealing certain numbers for those of us, especially see that seeing 144, he said, he teach it your hands to war and your fingers to fight. Your hands to war. You use your hands when you're getting in the book of Psalms. If you look at Psalms, it look like palms, hands. In that 555 and 55 video, every scripture that the Lord led me to, dealing with verse fives, all dealt with hands. How is that? You can't make it up. It's in the word. This one, nothing demonic. I go to the word of God. Dealing with hands. Suzette Carruthers, you need to be praying psalms 121 it's for a reason okay for the person prime example that's seeing this 616 trevor of sparta welcome um you may need to pray psalms chapter 6 verse 16 okay i don't even know if there's 16 verses in in, in uh psalms chapter 6 i don't know but these are odd numbers. It could be Psalms chapter 6 uh, and 16. I don't. One thing I am clear on. A lot of us see 7, 17. This is a revelation that he gave me a while back. And then we kept seeing 33. And then the Lord opened my eyes. These He wants us to be praying these songs. I started doing it and he confirmed things to me. Psalms chapter seven has exactly 17 verses. Exactly. This is amazing. Okay. But it's like this. A lot of people are not praying because they feel like it's not working. And they say, well, why bother? Okay, if you stay tuned, things will change in an instant for you. You may be having tormenting dreams, warfare attacks, things of that nature. That means you're too low spiritually. You need to come up higher. Because you don't know what's fighting you. You will use, if you know what's, got, what's fighting you, and you go, I see 313 too sometimes all right um 
if you know what's fighting you, the Lord has left us weapons of war. We just don't use it. Okay? Two other things that the Lord has revealed recently through a man of God. Okay? Now, you know what? Hold on. I'm 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 a wait on that because you guys you need to get this first. Praying these psalms, if you use God's medicine and take it and use it, if you knew the benefits, you would pray it. Forget not all his benefits. So many spiritual benefits, insights, answers to prayers, etc. etc. Okay, has transpired revelation. Okay, galore. I'm 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 first gonna share with you that these demons have upgraded. Y'all heard about CERN and they released some things in the atmosphere. There's a lot of evil going on. Cindy Morales revealed to me about some dreams that she had, and she had these dreams about some things that's going on in the world. Okay, I know it to be true because I have had some dreams that is going on in the world that the Lord revealed to me and it ain't good. Okay. I told you guys last video that a lot of you are going to see an increase in vision and dreams. There was a prophecy from this channel from December 31st that that's what was going to happen as well this year. Okay. He's going to fortify your armor. He said an angelic reinforcement. If what I'm saying to you, and don't fear if you're not dreaming, okay? You here today. No man could come to the Father and self he be drawn. You here today. The Lord has you on his mind. All right? God will never leave you or forsake you. A lot of you guys were chosen for this day. A lot of you guys were supposed to be here right now at this time, hearing this message. Read the book of Daniel chapter 12, all right? In that book, that uh, video I did about 555 and all that, it's... I talk a lot about Daniel. Daniel was a person that dreamed. He had visions and dreams. All right. If you thinking when I say the Lord is sending angelic reinforcement, use them. You think it's not biblical? You need to continue using your reading your Bible. And I say that with all humbleness because in Psalms 91, he gives his angels charge over you. Here's another one. The angels encamp around those that fear the Lord. Is 9-11 right now. Mm. Okay, so I'm going to show you several Psalms. I'm going to show you several Psalms that the Lord revealed to me, which to pray for certain dreams, types of warfare, problems, stubborn problems in your life. And some uh, testimonies, those that worship him. This verse, when the Lord said, woman, there are going to come a time when they that worship me must worship me in spirit and in truth. What is the word of God? What is Psalms? The Bible says that his word is spirit and it is life. It is sharper than a double-edged sword, okay? So those that worship him must worship him in spirit and truth. Every weapon I mentioned to you is spiritual. Jesus, the truth equals Jesus, the word of God. Let's look at this in uh, Luke chapter 24, verse 44. Fo, fo, fo. Okay. Hmm. And he said unto them, these are the words which I spake unto you 
while I was with you, that all things must be fulfilled, which were written in the law of Moses and in the prophets and in the Psalms concerning me. Y'all, Jesus prayed a lot of Psalms. He spoke a lot of Psalms. Okay. So I told you guys something, there's something with it. Ever since I've been praying Psalms, my spiritual man, my spiritual, hi, Ms. Linda, welcome. My spiritual man and my spiritual senses have been heightened to a degree, like spiritual sensitivity. Like, uh, and I like to use this as an example. If a person is allergic to something, they have a sensitivity to that thing or something, okay? When you're spiritually sensitive, your ears ring. A lot of y'all, if you hear you having issues, you ain't got no cold, you don't have tinnitus, you don't, you don't have, but your ears are ringing, there is a spirit around you that may not be good. You're hypersensitive. Thank you, T. Skaggs. Hypersensitive. If I'm asleep, somebody walk in my room, my eyes, like I ain't never been asleep. I'm telling you. So another, um, I gave my youngest daughter two psalms to... Um, to, to pray for some issues that she was having, that the Lord revealed to me. And she came back to me. Now, she hadn't been hearing what I had been telling you guys, that when you pray these psalms, your body heats up quick. You get into the spirit quick. And this is what the Lord is doing. Every says the Lord walk, walk this earth. Yes, you could, you could, you can. <laughs> thank you, Tamika. You can feel your hair raise. You could feel, I mean, now when I'm praying, I'm, I'm not even two minutes in. I mean, heat, a rush of heat, like, whoosh, and no, it ain't menopause. I'm going to tell you that right now. I'm talking to your nose sweat everywhere. Just, you feel clammy. So, but anyway, I gave my daughter, my two, my youngest daughter, those two songs to pray. And she came to me and she said, mama, when I, as I was praying, she said, I, I got really, really hot. What well, was something wrong? Mama, I got really, really hot. Here's a revelation on that. The Lord says his word does not return void. Okay. So when you're praying his word, you feeling heat radiating all over you from your head down to your feet. You, your prayers get answered because you praying the word, okay? And the things that you, he says, he already know what we have need of before we even ask. If you read through these Psalms, he even says towards the end about the trust. You showing the Lord God that I trust you. I'm going to use your word. It's a slap in the face when we go read these other little prayers that I ain't finna do. Nada. Nada. And I ain't going to do nothing. When you read the Psalms, it is it answers, you get answers of prayers, heightened in visions of dreams. Becca, welcome. Understanding wisdom and knowledge. Okay, stuff that I'm concerned about is handled blessings your ears ring so loud when you're around witches and bad spirits sometimes wicked arrows could be uh fiery darts can be shot at you when you hear this ringing in your ears the ringing in the ears is an alarm from the spirit the holy spirit you need to pray right now More clarity in visions and dreams. Deliverance come also through the word. And you also need to accompany fasting with this too, you guys. All right. 
Um, when when Acts two seventeen and Joel two twenty eight hmm, is it talks about pouring out the spirit, uh, the Lord's spirit in the last day. It's revelation. There is an outpouring, and the Lord is increasing His people. Y'all, it's going to be some things that come up on this earth, I'm telling you. 818 has something to do with signs and wonders. That's one of the things, okay? Signs and wonders shall follow those that believe, okay? Uh, and the Lord is going to use us mightily, okay? And you can bet that the fight is on to try to get you not to pray, to try to get you not to read your word. <clears throat> Isaiah 55 and 5, read it. All right. Um, so let me go ahead and I got to do a separate video. But for those of you, if you, I'm just going to share. I'm just going to share. uh a little bit with you guys until I do the separate video. So for those of you who are having problems with fear, anxiety, uh, anxiousness, uh, worry, let me share with you some Psalms to pray. Okay. It's three of them. Psalms 27, racing thoughts, hearing voices, anything like that. Psalms 27, Psalms 30, and Psalms 31. God, I'm thankful for the 44 that are on here. Psalms 27, Psalms 30, and Psalms 31. There are going to be so many videos that's going to help you guys on which psalms to pray. I'm going to be giving out which psalms to pray when you wake up and you have a bad dream. Okay. I'm going to show you psalms to pray because some of you have had dreams where you in a graveyard, where you've been down in a pit where you might have seen yourself in hell somewhere or where the spirit, the evil spirits taking you into these muddy waters. Hey, hmm. it's some Psalms to fight against that. The Lord knew. He knew. Okay. So those three, um, see what else I was going to share. Um, no. Okay. I think, I think I'm, I'm going to go ahead and give this one because I, I think I'm, I'm going to give some more concerning because this is like so prevalent to those of you who are attacked with incubus, succubus spirits, Marine kingdom spirits, which are basically some of them are serpentine spirits. Let me give you some psalms to pray against that. Psalms chapter 9, Psalms 31, Psalms 38, Psalms 39. Psalms 46 and Psalm 68. Okay. It's going to get better and better. I have so many written down. I mean, it's powerful. And how you want to pray these Psalms, you guys, the Lord said, turn to uh, the book of Psalms chapter 100. He says, make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Okay. Know ye that the Lord, he is God. It is he 
that had made us. Somebody is pulling on me. <laughs> it is it, it's, it's spiritual. I, I, I explain, but uh, but I, I'm, I'm gonna do it. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before His presence with singing. Know ye that the Lord, He is God. It is He that had made us, and not we ourselves. We are His people and the sheep of His pasture. Enter into His gates with what thanksgiving, and into His courts with praise. Be thankful unto Him and bless His name, for the Lord is good. His mercy is everlasting, and His truth endureth to all generations. There was some also some things of spiritual warfare. You guys, all of you on here, listen to me and listen to me good. There are two powerful spiritual warfare weapons that I am going to reveal that you do not want to miss, okay? The reason why I I decided not to do it tonight because I need to do a fulfilling, fulfilling, a fulfilling, fulfillment video concerning this. Because the Lord revealed to me that he was going to release this in this in these end times. Okay. It's always been in the word. But we never saw it the way it's been revealed. And I'm so glad that this man of God revealed it, okay? But these, these revelations can heal you, save your life. Hear me and hear me good, okay? Now, some of these weapons, if you don't know, in this hour is the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. I pleaded the blood of Jesus against the enemy in my dreams, y'all. And he went clear to his knees, begging for mercy. You want to utilize the angels, okay? The Lord said, teach. You, you know what he means by teach your hands to war, your fingers to fight? You Use your fingers going part of it using your fingers going through this word getting those psalms and praying them and using them okay now you can also why i, I show y'all every time i uh pray these songs how to pray pay close attention because while you're praying, let me show you what the Holy Spirit do. While you're praying, the Holy Spirit will have you. He will speak another scripture or he may put somebody in your heart to pray for. He may put certain things to pray for in these scriptures. I mean, in these prayers, when you pray these, these scriptures, out of the Psalms, you when you feel the Holy Spirit come upon you on certain, you might read something and go, mm, that's Holy Spirit right there. You feel the fire of God, you feel an enlightenment going on. You want to stay right there. You want to keep on praying. You want to keep praying that verse right there. Keep on praying. Mm hmm. Hide not thy face from me in the day when I am in trouble, Lord. Hide me, Lord. Hide me, Lord, when I'm in when I'm in trouble. Hide not thy face, Lord. Hide not thy face from my friends, my family, Lord, or my co-workers, Lord. Hide not thy face, Lord, from the surrounding of my neighborhood, Lord. Hide not thy face when I am in trouble. We are in trouble. Lord, I call upon the day, upon you in the day. And when I call, you will answer me speedily. He also said, then when you, you say that, then you will hear another scripture. And as you keep doing it and you keep doing it, let me, let me share something with you. When you saying that, it gets the attention of heaven. It gets the attention of the angels that's assigned to you. 
Glory be to God. Because he said his word will not return void. It's powerful. His word is quick. Quick. Answer prayers. And sharper than a double-edged sword. Come on, Lord. It's time to war, y'all. I don't know about y'all, but I know some of y'all been waking up a lot in, in these in these past months. Since this year come at 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock. I'm like, oh my God. Sometimes, I ain't gonna lie, y'all, it's hard to get up out that bed. God is great. He left us. Fighting words to take the enemy out, to subdue, to overturn, to overthrow. Because when you pray in some of these words you hear in scriptures, the Lord going to give you another scripture. You pray it. Okay? Lead them other little things along, them little prayers along. They ain't going to work. I'm telling you right now, you better get this word. If you know scripture, yes, it is okay to make your, when you pray in it, then you come and you make your petitions to the Lord. After you to pray to us, Lord, I make my petition to you, Lord. Lord, I, I'm, I'm concerned about this. I worry about this. I'm, 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 I'm concerned about so-and-so. Lord, I need help in this and in that. You done already prayed the weapons of war. Yes, Michelle, he showed me he would give you multiple scriptures. So y'all, me and another co-worker, <clears throat> I can reveal something to y'all that was shown to me in my dreams, why some people are dealing with certain issues. But I can't right now. All right, so tonight for prayer, I'm going to have to pray some short psalms. But I'm by the uh, Holy Spirit. Yes, is going to pray and pray hard and good. Y'all know how we do it. There is power in numbers. Okay. Power in numbers. And as I pray, I'm going to pray. Let's see. I'm going to pray Psalms 61, Psalms 67, and Psalms 70. They all short, but I'm going to pray them. 61, 70. Oh, Cindy Morales. Y'all, there was, let me share this and then we're going to pray. There was a time in my life when I was going through something. The Lord kept showing me, let me prove this to you. The Lord kept showing me 55, 22, 55 and 22, 55 and 22. Y'all, I was seeing it for like over almost a year and I didn't know why. The Lord was giving me scriptures like, um, like don't trust in your friends and um, uh, the the friend uh, uh, Psalms fifty five, and uh, it was basically just not trusting in your friends and uh, friends that didn't mean you well and things like that. So in two thousand nineteen, early twenty twenty. It was a situation and I kept seeing 55 and 22, even in the Lord revealed to me today. And then he brought Sidney Morales to mind as well. I know without a shadow of a doubt now that what I went through, had I been praying Psalms 55 and Psalms 22, because Psalms 55, y'all, is it talks about a person that walks with you, your, that's your enemy. And it says, basically, I'm a paraphrase. It says, for it was not an enemy that reproached me. Then I could have borne it. Neither was it he that hated me. 
that did magnify himself against me. Then I would have hid myself from him, but it was thou a man, mine equal, mine God, and mine acquaintance. We took sweet counsel together and walked unto the house of God in company. I didn't know why. I'm like, what is with this 22 and 55? I was seeing so much. If I saw 55 to 12, I would turn my phone down. Because I didn't know why. Cindy Morales would always tell me, Nikki, I'm saying 56, 56, 56, 56, 56. And at one time I did tell her, well, maybe you need to pray Psalms 56. But not really. We really never did it. But the Lord brought that back to my memory today. And Psalms 56 is a powerful prayer. During the time she was saying it a lot, Cindy dealt with a sickness or illness that really attacked her and I that year, this particular year. My voice and her voice. I mean, her eating, and it, 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 was, it was something. But I, within my heart of hearts, I believe that the Lord was trying to reveal to us to pray these particular psalms, that it would have subdued our enemies. Uh, yes. So when y'all see in these awkward numbers, check them psalms out. Pray that the Lord will reveal to you. Trust me, he will. Thank you for putting that up there, Michelle Cooper. <laughs> Thank you so much. I just looked at this like, now what chapter did I say I was going to pray? <laughs> Woo, y'all on it tonight, y'all on it. Now, for those of you who are not dreaming, stay tuned. Keep here, okay? Because I'm going to reveal to you what to do so you can, by the help of God. We give God the glory. I'm telling you, he revealed it to me. And I'm telling you, you want to wake up your spirit man to dream? I'm telling you. Better ask Cindy. And a lot of y'all, because you've been here on these prayers, a lot of y'all are dreaming a lot now. Well, it's going to increase. I'm going to tell you that right. Tell you that right now. Okay, let's pray, you guys. We're going to start with this. All right. If y'all have... Always wanted to become a great singer? Hey, I'm Jada Facer, and I'm a popular singer here on YouTube. I can't stand it. To each his own, but it couldn't be me. All right. Praise God. Let's pray. You guys, if you have the gift of tongues, I, I want you to pray in tongues right, right here. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Shatarovoko Rabahandale Marisike. Is the Yoboshi and Rabashata. Karabahandale Makarabuko Sikanda Rabashata. In the Labaka, break up that fallow ground. If you don't have the gift of tongues, pray the Our Father prayer. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we thank you. We give you glory, we give you honor, we give you praise. Father, we thank you for awakening us this day, oh God, spiritually and naturally, Lord. Lord, we know that without you wasn't anything made. Father, Lord God, we call upon you, Lord God. We humble ourselves before you, Lord God. We repent of our sins, known and unknown, sins of omission and commission, oh God. In the name of Jesus, Father, we want to thank you for the blessings and the benefits that you have left us. We want to thank you for your powerful word. We want to thank you, Lord, for your outstretched hand. Lord God, your hand is still outstretched for your people. We want to thank you, Lord, that you are opening the eyes of the blind and the spiritual blind in the name of Jesus. Father, Lord God, we thank you that you are Lord of Lord and King of Kings, creator of all things. Lord, there is none like you, Lord God, that 
that can redeem his people mightily with the powerful scriptures and words, oh God. Lord, in the name of Jesus, to subdue, overtake, and overthrow, Lord God, the insurrections and the wicked powers of the enemy, Lord, that they will not come nigh us according to your word. Lord, in the name of Jesus, we soak ourselves in the blood of Jesus. We soak our minds, our thoughts, and, and our emotions in the blood of Jesus. Father, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, the blood of Jesus, bring into captivity every vain thought, every Lord God deviant thought, every vain imagination and every high thing that the enemy, Lord God, would have put there even in the nighttime. In the name of Jesus, the blood of Jesus brings correction. In the name of Jesus, Father, Lord God, we soak our families in the blood of Jesus. We soak our homes, our dwelling places and spaces in the blood of Jesus. We soak our photos in the blood of Jesus, Our video, my videos, this ministry in the blood of Jesus. We soak our family and extended family in the blood of Jesus. Children, grandchildren in the blood of Jesus. We soak our home and everything that pertained to us, our cars in the blood of Jesus now. Lord, we soak our finances, our credit reports in the blood of Jesus. Lord, we loose the blood of Jesus in our atmosphere. Lord, in the name of Jesus, we call forth angelic reinforcement in the name of Jesus, Lord, to fight for us. We call forth the angels call hedges to make up the hedge, Lord, wherever there is a gap. We call forth in the name of Jesus, the archangel Michael, Lord God, in the name of Jesus and the angels that do battle and excel in strength, Lord, in the name of Jesus, to contend with those that contend with us and fight against those that fight against us and take up shield and buckler and stand up for our help in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus, Psalm 61, hear my cry, O God, attend unto our prayer. From the end of the earth will we cry unto you, O Lord. When our heart is overwhelmed, lead us to the rock that is higher than I. Lord, when your people of God heart is overwhelmed with the cares of this life, in the things that is going on in the world. Lord, lead them to the rock. Lord, lead them to the rock of everlasting, our rock of salvation. Lord, in the name of Jesus, wherever they are bound up in their minds and in their hearts, Lord God, where the enemy is speaking torments and evil, deceptive lies to them. Lord, in the name of Jesus, Lord, cause them, Lord God, to get into that high place. Lord, I call forth the mind of Christ. Lord, for thou hast been a shelter unto us, a strong tower from the enemy. Lord, hide us according to your word from the secret counsels of the wicked. Let none of their ill wishes or evil desires come upon us, O God. Lord, you are a strong tower and the righteous run unto you and is safe. We will abide in your tabernacle forever. We will trust in the covert of your wings. For thou, O God, has heard our vows. Thou has given us the heritage of those that fear thy name. Thou will prolong the king's life and his years in many generations. Lord, prolong, prolong our life according to your word, O oh God. You said that, Lord, if we trust in you, we shall not be moved. We shall be as Mount Zion in the name of Jesus. Lord, you said we shall call upon you, O oh God, when we're in trouble. Lord, in the name of Jesus, whatever trouble that is going on around us, whatever the enemy is raging against us, O oh God, Lord, deliver us from evil. Deliver us from that place. Lord, in the name of Jesus, and satisfy us with long life. You see how I did that? In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. He shall abide before God forever. Oh, prepare mercy and truth, oh God, which may preserve us, which may preserve our family, which may preserve my subscribers, oh God, which may preserve, Lord God, our soul. Lord God, in the name of Jesus, according to Psalms 121, Lord, you said in your word that you will preserve our soul. You shall preserve our going out and our coming in. Lord, preserve our family going out and coming in. Preserve our mind in the name of Jesus, Lord God, where, Lord God, we are overwhelmed with overwhelming thoughts. Lord, preserve our mind. Preserve our children this day, oh God. Preserve us, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Preserve, Lord God, our soul. 
from the wicked, oh God, in the name of Jesus. So will we sing praises unto the name forever and we may daily perform our vows in the name of Jesus. Psalm 67, God be merciful unto us and bless us and cause his face to shine upon us. Father, in the name of Jesus, oh God, arise and cause your face to shine upon us. Lord, let our light so shine. Lord God, because our light is not hid under a bushel. Lord, let our light overtake the darkness and let not the darkness overtake us. In the name of Jesus, Lord, you said that you will never let us be ashamed. In the name of Jesus, he that keepeth thee shall need no slumber nor sleep. Lord, be thy shade up on thy right hand. Lord, in the name of Jesus, I decree and declare that the sun shall not smite us by day, nor the moon by night. That is Psalms 121. That their way may be known upon the earth, thy saving help among all nations. Lord, be thy saving help in the name of Jesus. Lord, save us, Lord God. Give us the health, oh God. Lord, heal us, Lord God, by the 13 stripes of your back. Heal our family members, Lord. Lord, we lift our family members up wherever they are. Lord, in the name of Jesus, where they are bound up in their mind, where they are sick to the marrow of their bones. Lord, we speak, Lord God, the word of God that says, Lord God, you know the thoughts and plans that you have for them, those of good and not of evil, to see them to the expected end. Lord, they shall be healed. Lord God, they shall be healed by the 13 stripes on your back, oh God. In the name of Jesus, let the people praise thee, oh God. Let all the people praise thee. Oh, let the nations be glad and sing for joy. For thou shalt judge the people righteously and govern the nations upon the earth. Let the people praise thee, O God. Let all the people praise thee. Then shall the earth yield her increase. Father, as you are yielding your increase, increase your people, Lord God, in vision. Lord, I prophesy, Lord, to your people on today. Increase them, Lord God, in every area in their life where there is a decrease. Lord, increase them in vision. Increase them in dreams. Increase them in their finances. Increase them spiritually. Increase them, oh God, with the anointing to persevere in prayer. With the anointing, Lord God, to destroy yokes in the name of Jesus and remove bondages. Increase them, Lord God, in the name of Jesus to have an excellent spirit, oh God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Increase them, oh God. Increase us, oh God, in the name of Jesus to be able, Lord God, to yield, Lord God, when we need to yield and to rise, Lord God, in the night, in the wee hours of the morning, Lord God, to pray. Increase us in every area of our life, oh God. Increase, Lord God, our, our finances. Increase our credit reports in the name of Jesus Christ. Ha hallelujah, Lord God. Lord God shall bless us and all the ends of the earth shall fear him. In the name of Jesus, Psalm 70. In the name of Jesus, make haste, O oh God, to deliver your people. Make haste, Lord, to help us. Make haste, Lord God, to those in our family who are struggling. Lord, the inflation and everything, Lord God, that we put our hands on lately. Lord God is hot. Lord, gas is hot. Food is hot. Lord, paying bills for our children that's in college, it is hot. It is expensive, oh God. But Lord, you said that they that seek you shall not want any good thing. Hey. Lions do lack and suffer hunger, but they that trust in the Lord shall not want any good thing. I just heard that scripture. Lord, you said in your word that many are the afflictions of the righteous, but you delivered us from them all. In the name of Jesus Christ, Lord God, in Jesus' name, Lord, never have the righteous been forsaken or seed begging bread. Father, in the name of Jesus, wherever our family members are in need, oh God, of bread, 
food, gas, bills to be paid, Lord, food on their table, clothes on their back, or increase in the paycheck, so God, Lord, or or their or their 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 spouses, Lord God, to make the money, Lord, if they're not working, Lord, wherever the businesses need to increase, let it increase this day. Make haste, oh God, to deliver your people. We're calling upon you, oh God. You said, Lord God, to seek you in the name of Jesus. Huh? And all things will be added unto us. Add unto us this day, Lord. Make haste, oh God, in every area of our life. Make haste to deliver your people, Lord. Even in the dream, oh God, increase them, Lord. Lord, give us spiritual reinforcement, even in our armor, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, as we put on the helmet of salvation, the breastplate of righteousness. Our Lord is girded about with truth. In the name of Jesus, the right hand, the shield of faith, the left hand, the sword of the Lord, the sword of the spirit, and our feet is shuttered with the preparation of the gospel. Lord, in the name of Jesus, fortify our armor, fortify our tongues, Fortify our spirit, man, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, that in the night we will reject, Lord God, every evil covenant. We will we speak to our body, soul, and spirit, Lord God, to reject incubus and succubus spirits, to reject, Lord God, all powers of forms of darkness. In the name of Jesus Christ, make haste, Lord God, to deliver your people. Lord, those that are struggling and not even getting child support, Lord, all the single mothers, make haste, Lord God, to deliver them. Lord, make haste to deliver those, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, they may have court appointments. They may have appointments at the doctor's office that is in fear of reports. Whose report will we believe? We will believe in the report of the Lord. Ha! In the name of Jesus Christ that says no weapons formed against them shall prosper. In the name of Jesus, and we decree and declare that every evil tongue, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, will not be made manifest in the earth. Lord, according to Psalms 140, in the name of Jesus, it says, let not the evil speaker be established in the earth realm. In the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, in any form of any language, wherever they are conspiring against us, wherever they are conspiring against our ministries, wherever they are conspiring against our help, our children, us in the nighttime, in the dream, Lord, make haste to deliver us. Lord, let our enemies and our adversaries be ashamed and confounded that seek after our soul. Let them be turned back as a reward of their shame. Let them be turned back to them old schools, old friend houses and parents' houses. Lord God, while they're trying to entrap our soul, Lord, deliver us. Oh God, arise in your anger and lift up yourself because of the rage of the enemy, Lord God, that is raising against your people. Lord, wherever the pursuant spirits, it is on the trails against your people. Lord, let them be turned back and brought to confusion. Lord, wherever the enemy has had your people in muddy waters, Lord, in the name of Jesus, as Moses did, Lord, I loose the blood of Jesus in the muddy waters. Lord, open the gates in the name of Jesus, and let the righteous come in. Lord, in the name of Jesus, we change the muddy waters, Lord, to the blood of Jesus. Therefore, Lord God, no evil shall befall us. And Lord, they that hate the wicked shall be made desolate. In the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, let them be turned back for a reward of their shame that say, aha, aha. Let all those that seek thee rejoice and be glad in thee. And let such as love thy salvation say continually, let God be magnified huh? in the name of Jesus. Huh? Lord, we will trust in the Lord huh? who do it valiantly. We will trust in the Lord huh? who who fight our battles for us. Huh? We will trust in the Lord, huh? Lord God, in the name of Jesus, that will subdue our enemies. Lord, you are Lord of Lords. You are creator of all things, heaven and earth. Huh? Lord, in the name of Jesus, but we are poor and needy in our spirit. Huh? Lord, but in the name of Jesus, make haste unto us, O God. Thou art our help and our deliverer. Oh, make no tarrying. Lord God, make no tarrying. Huh? In the name of Jesus Christ. Huh? In the name of Jesus, Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. 
Thank you, Lord, for answering your people. Thank you, Lord, for hearing our prayers. Thank you, Lord, for what you're doing right now. Thank you, Lord, in the name of Jesus, that there is a shifting that is taking place in the spirit, oh God. Thank you, Lord, in the name of Jesus. You are igniting your fire upon your people. Thank you, Lord. You are taking them from the low place to a high place in you, oh God. Thank you, Lord, in the name of Jesus. You have already subdued our enemies because we trust in your word, oh God. Some trust in horses. Some trust in chariots. But they that wait upon the Lord ha, shall renew their strength. Ha. See, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Lord God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we sign and seal this prayer. Amen and amen. My father. Oh, whoo. Y'all. <laughs> If I had to write, oh, glory be to God, all the scriptures that the Holy Spirit was bringing up, I think I'll probably have three full pages. That's how you want to pray. And when I came on here, I kid you not, I had no idea which Psalms that I was going to pray tonight. None. None. But I can tell you this. I bet you the Holy Spirit tapped into every area of our lives. I don't think there was nothing left uncovered. And whatever I may have missed, y'all fill in the gaps. Give yourself a head clap. Give yourself a head clap. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. 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 Fire, 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 fire. Fire, fire. Y'all, don't miss these videos that's coming up. Please, though. Hmm. All, almost 50 of y'all that was on here tonight. I saw 49 at one point. We already got three off. But let me tell you something you don't want to miss. You don't. You don't. You have no idea what this vessel is holding on to. That the Lord wants to release to his people in this demonic hour. It's a shame. I mean, I'm telling you, the Lord is increasing in vision dreams. He will show you who your enemies are. He will show you what's going on in your family. He will show you who the enemies are on your job. He will show you the things ahead of time. He will never leave us or forsake us. He ain't going to leave you high and dry. He's not going to do it. I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a witness. With that said, is there anyone on here that have not accepted the Lord Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior? If that be you, give me a hand raise. Because let me tell you something. These scriptures, these words, these powerful warfare rep weapons that the Lord is revealing in this hour, they ain't going to work for you if you're not saved. Because you have to accept the Savior in order to use what he has for you to be saved. Okay? <laughs> and I'm not just talking about salvation. All right? But you have to be saved by the Savior first. Mm-hmm. Y'all was praying so hard. I, I felt like I'm like, Lord, I hope I ain't spitting up, but woo! Praise the Lord. God bless you, uh, Michelle Cooper. <clears throat> um, 
Okay, so we don't have it. If anyone would like to donate uh, to the ministry, you can do so. I will put that information up in the um, description box. If you don't see it on here, if you don't see it on here, uh, look in a previous video. Uh, that information will be there. Um, PayPal, Cash App will be there. I reiterate, do not miss these upcoming videos, you guys. Don't do it. I mean, it's like crucial. I'm telling you, we getting ready to walk into some stuff. Francis Hernandez, God bless you. Um, if you need healing of any affliction, any type of infirmity, anything, anything, do not miss. You see, subscribe first. But if you see this video come up, please listen. Okay, you can't stop crying and worship. Ooh, go ahead on. Keep it going, keep it going. That's what I'm talking about, y'all. One day I was praying, and all of a sudden, my uh, Smith, Alexis, I think this is, uh, God bless you. I couldn't stop singing. I was supposed to be praying, and when that happens, you want to follow the Holy Spirit because I'm telling you, even in your praise. One, two of the things that the witches like to try to take out is a praying, warfaring Christian and one that prays and worship. They don't want you doing that. They do not want you doing it. When you pray these scriptures and sing, I'm telling you, it's something. So you you basically you need to stay in the know, you guys. All right. Okay. Well, I'm going to get off of here. I love you guys, and you guys have a good night. I will see you next video. Good night.